Hi Loadsters, it is Danny, your scrapper on the street, and it is day 30 of October Load. So I want to take a moment and send all my well wishes to our girls in the Northeast. I know I have a lot of friends and family up that way, and I know a lot of our girls here in the Scrap Happy and Load family are up there as well. I've heard that some don't have power, so hopefully you're muddling through as best you can. And we're thinking about you, and we are hoping you are safe and have power and some sort of normalcy very soon. So we are thinking about you, and we hope that you can join us really soon because we miss you. So here we are, day 30. Today we have to scrap lift ourselves, which is an awesome challenge, but something I very rarely do. Um, I went through my layout, and I just... I couldn't pick one. It's kind of hard to pick your favorite layout. It's kind of like picking your favorite child or your favorite pet or whatever. It's just really hard to pick one that you want to recreate. And so I asked two people who are not participating in this load. Um, one of which is my friend Tammy, who you've all heard me mention I have invaded her home twice this month with all of my load belongings and I felt like I owed her something so <laughs> I asked her to pick her favorite layout from the month of October because I know she watches the videos every day even though she's not a scrapbooker I am working very hard to get her to be a scrapbooker so wish me luck with that um so she picked the Duffy layout that I did earlier, and I'll post what days those were below so that you could go back and see how close I came to the recreation. But she picked the Duffy layout, and so I tried to recreate it here. I used, and the Duffy layout was kind of different for me because I used the shaped edged patterned paper, and I found another sheet that was similar here and then it had the nice fall colors that I just really loved so much so I created this collage in Picasso backed it with a rusty brown colored cardstock and then kept everything else simple like the original the only embellishments are flowers and buttons and the title is pretty simple so it I just kept it very focused on the photos as I did in the original and I had a lot of fun with it. I doesn't need a lot of journaling because the photos kind of say it all, as does the title. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So for the next person, I asked my mom. Um, we talk just about every day, whether it's on the phone or text messages or instant messages. And she also watches the videos every day and looks at the layouts every day. And many of you know she's participated in load several times before. She's currently not a member of the Scrap Happy community, so that's why she's not doing this one. Also, October's a very busy month for her. But, uh, she still watches and keeps up with everything I'm doing. So, I asked her for her favorite layout, and she gave me two layouts that she liked. Um, one was the layout I did on True Scrap 4, and it was a pretty simple layout and would have been super simple to recreate, and originally that was the direction I thought I was going to go because, one, I didn't know at the time I was going to do two layouts. I didn't think I'd feel that ambitious, but it, since it was a simpler layout, I thought I would go the simple layout route. Her other favorite was the This Life layout, which was also pretty popular on the Flickr boards, so I was thinking about it. And I came across a paper, pattern paper, and photo that I wanted to use. And this layout was born. Based on, ooh, helps if I switch them. <laughs> Based on the This Life layout. This layout with all the layering, which is what my mom really liked. Um, and I matched some of the embellishments and some of the layering effects. Like I used the burlap kind of for texture and I added word strips and I kept the title pretty simple and over the photo and then instead of journaling along the side I journaled down at the bottom um, 
this photo has a different orientation and is also smaller than the original, so it gave me a little more wiggle room. But it also allows me to showcase the paint background paper too because it's busy, but it's also very pretty. And I added some butterflies because, you know, I do that. And like the original, there was a Tim Holtz tag. I just distressed it with blue to bring out some of the blues in the paper and the photo. And I added that here. And I used a different one instead of whatever the other one said. Soar, I believe. This one says Bliss. And this layout was born. So two layouts, one day, one more day to go. And... uh we're almost there and just know if you created one five or all 31 layouts you rock this load there's no wrong way to do it and i will see you tomorrow bye